paper. First thing. Reading fingers ready. Use the graph to answer the questions. Fill in the blank and write a number sentence to the right to solve the problem. Okay, so it looks like we're doing school day weather. Here's the number of school days. Here's the type of weather and each square is worth one day. Number one, how many more days were cloudy than sunny? Okay, so on the right side, we're gonna write a number sentence to help us solve. So how many more days were cloudy than sunny? Well, how many cloudy days are there? One, two, three, four, five. So five minus one, two, three, four, because we're gonna check the difference. We wanna know the difference between these amounts. Five minus four equals how many? Write the answer here and here. That way it'll say blank, more days were cloudy than sunny. Number two, how many fewer days were cloudy than rainy? So we're doing cloudy and rainy. Again, we wanna know the difference in these two amounts. So we're gonna start with the bigger amount. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Minus one, two, three, four, five. And that'll equal how many more days were cloudy than rainy. I should say fewer. That was a typo. Okay, number three. Make sure you're writing your answers for the number sentence and in the blank. Okay, number three. How many more days were rainy than sunny? Rainy and sunny. So we have our one, two, three, four, five, six, seven again, minus the one, two, three, four sunny days, and that'll equal how many more days were rainy than sunny? Because so you wanna see the difference in days. So seven minus four equals blank. Write the answer here and here. Number four, how many total days did the class keep track of the weather? The class kept track of a total of blank days. Okay, it also wants a number sentence again. So we have our four sunny days plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rainy days plus one, two, three, four, five cloudy days. And what does that equal? Write it here and here. Okay, moving on to number five. If the next three school days are sunny, how many of the school days will be sunny in all? We really should have a line right here to help us write our number sentence. So right now there's four sunny days, plus what if the next three school days are sunny? So plus three more sunny days, how many sunny days would that equal? Put the answer here and here. Okay, I'm flipping it over. This side, I'm gonna have you do more of it on your own. Here we go. Use the graph to answer the questions. Fill in the blank. 
and write a number sentence that helps you solve the problem. So right now we're doing favorite fruit. Our choices are apples, bananas, and grapes. Each smiley face is uh, one student. So this tells how many like apples, how many like bananas, and how many like grapes. Number six. How many fewer students chose bananas than apples? Okay, so you're looking at bananas and apples. Write a number sentence. And then fill in the, the number for blank fewer students chose bananas than apples. Remember for subtraction, you always start with the bigger number. Moving on to number seven, you can always pause it if you're not ready. How many more students chose bananas than grapes? Blank more students chose bananas than grapes. So you need to write a number sentence that shows the difference between bananas and grapes. Number eight, how many fewer students chose grapes than apples? So now you're trying to find the difference between grapes and apples. Write a number sentence and then write in right here, blank, fewer students chose grapes than apples. Last one, some more students answered about their favorite fruits. If the new total number of students is, who answered is 20, how many more students answered? So blank more students answered the question. So the new total number of students is 20. So we're gonna do 20 minus and now we have to count how many total have already said their favorite fruit. So 15 have already answered. So what does that equal? 20 minus 15 equals blank. Make sure you write it, the answer here and here, and that tells us how many more students answered the question. When you're done, put it in the done tub. If you need more time, put it in the to be finished tray.